everyone and welcome to the video for today. We are continuing on the Matt Hatter's tea party in the little teapot today. Um, and I am starting out with sketching a chair. I did make some measurements before I started so that I know that this chair will be in 1 to 12. Um, and then I'm just uh, designing a chair like I wanted in the frames of the 1 to 12 size. Then when I am happy with the design, I am going to cut it out and then I will transfer it to a piece of wood. Um, this is, I think it's a 1.5 millimeter thick wood. Um, it might be two millimeters, I forgot, uh, but it really doesn't matter. You just transfer the um, pattern to the wood here. And I made it so that I can cut out two pieces of the wood where I can have two pieces of the chair um, and I am going to use some double sided tape to put the two parts together before I am going to cut it out. Um, I used my Dremel to drill a hole in the little uh, thing between the legs here so that I can use my scroll saw to cut it out. Um, and I used my scroll saw to cut everything here so that it looks really neat and nice. And the good part about having the two parts um, sticking together with the double sided tape is that I can now just take the two parts apart carefully and I'm doing it with my knife here just really really carefully and slowly working my way around and breaking the seal and then I have two part that is just the same. I am using the rest of the wood here to mark out my seat and my uh, back seat of the chair. Uh, and I want the back seat to be a bit longer than the seat. So um, I'm happy that I have this uh, indent or what you call it, that one of these pieces are smaller than the other one. Um, and then I'm just designing it as I go and cutting it all out on my scroll saw again. There's no rhyme and reason for how I am doing this uh, seating things I'm just measuring and doing it just like I feel like. The double sided tape is easy to get rid of. You just kind of slide your fingers over it and it just rolls up and you can peel it off. So that's the easy part. I also got this little uh, piece that I want to have between the legs uh, that was actually just a piece of leftover wood uh, and it was perfect for the piece I want here in the middle of the leg. But before I am going to glue anything together I will sand all the pieces so they are nice and rounded all the way around. After sanding all the pieces, I am gluing the uh, bottom part here at the chair. I'm gluing the back seat onto the chair and I am gluing the little uh, spacer by the leg into the chair, onto, onto the chair as well. Um, and then I'm leaving it just for a second before I am placing the other side of the chair on there. 
I carefully turn it around so it is standing upright. This way I can make sure that everything is glued together so that the chair is not wobbly when it's all done. After the glue was all hardened, I decided to paint this chair white. Or you can paint your chair any color you like. Uh, but for this project, white is the right color for this one. I gave this one three coats before it was white enough for my little project. I did put a tiny bit of water into my puppet and then I mixed a tiny bit of brown into the water. You see, I just make a very lightly dip into the brown or red brown. And then uh, I have this watered down brown color that I can place on the chair everywhere where it has been worn and it's been standing outside because the Mad Hatter's Tea Party is outside so it is kind of used and worn furniture. So I'm just giving this a layer of this brownish uh, watered down uh, paint. Of course I made sure that the white paint was all dry before I did this um, uh, aging thing. I also took a tiny bit of black and mixed into this brownish water mix and uh, I used that a tiny few places here and there on the chair as well. I didn't want it to be too black so just a tiny bit and um, you can do as much or as little as you want to. Then I designed this little book in Normat on my iPad. Um, that is actually the first print or uh, design I ever made in that program. It is a YouTube how-to that I followed. I made mine a bit different than the uh, follow along on YouTube. Uh, but I 3D printed that book in two different sizes. And then I'm just going to paint the sides on the book white. For some of the books I used this red brown colored paint here and I mixed a little other colors in it for some of the other books and some books I made in green and some I made in blue um, and uh, I just covered all the cover covered covered all the cover i covered the cover <laughs> with this color then i have this true metal paint this is a bronze color and i'm just uh kind of dabbing my finger on it just a tiny bit and i'm removing the rest on a tiny piece of paper and then i'm just uh kind of dry brushing it with my fingers over the details on the book and I decide on how much of the details I want to see this way. A few of the detail was not clear enough so I took my paintbrush and then I just painted that on to the little book and I am going to let that dry. Some of the books I used this bronze color, some I used a gold and some I used a silver on. Uh, I have like four of these um, metal colors and they are really really pretty. It is kind of a rough and buff, uh, rub and buff, uh, where you can rub it on and then buff it with your finger so it gets really really shiny. I do that on a few of these books but not on all of them. And now for the main piece of this chair. That is this tinier chair and maybe you can guess what this is for now. Um, and I am using this uh, sand brown color for this little chair and just painting everything in that brown color. Nothing uh, big here, just painting it everything. So here is the things that I've done. I actually painted a lot more books than this and I chose a few of them that I really liked. And now I am just going to glue these on the chair, stacking them on each other 
uh, in the way I like them to uh, be lying here. And this is my fast drying or quick drying tacky glue that I'm using and it is kind of um, giving me a few problems here. It is kind of watery um, but it is still working. Oh, I don't know what was wrong here. Anyway, I got it to work and I stacked the books on top of the chair. And then I am using my super glue gel to glue the little chair here on top of the books. Um, and yeah, I hope you guessed that by now, but it is for the little rat or the mouse sitting at the table on the little chair on the book. And I am going to make the little mouse that is going to sit here in the next video for the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. Uh, but uh, give me a few weeks to... Uh, prepare that video it will come anyway that is all for today thank you for watching and happy crafting